It's a cool looking Rangers side. A thumbs up from the skipper, James Tavernier. A pensive, tentative Stephen Gerrard that he has played in this kind of environment on so many occasions. He'll know the exact words to share with the players. Looking at the officials tonight, they're from Slovenia. The man in the middle is Slavko Vincic. Fourth official, Batez Jog. The assistants on the flanks, Andres Kovinic and Thomas Hansnip. High fives all round. I think in a matter of 60 seconds, any thoughts of friendship will be part for the next 90 minutes, Andy. Yeah, and this is this is what it's all about being a Rangers player. Some of these players will be getting their first taste of of massive, massive European nights. Okay, we've had we've had a few already in qualifiers, but this is really, really um, this is the big time. You know, is to try and get into those group stages. Uh, it's brilliantly, it's brilliant financially for the club um, and for the fans. Just to have these nights is, is extra special, um, and it's down to those players to to grab it with both hands and, and summon become a hero tonight and uh, and get the, get the team through to the qualifier uh, through, through to the group stage. Yeah, Rangers tonight in the traditional blue shirts trimmed with white white shorts and it's white socks today with the red tops. You're just looking at guys like Ojo and Aribo coming to a club like this. Joe Aribo in particular with Charlton played at Wembley last season, but this is a different level. Absolutely. Uh, Stephen Gerrard again, he said about it, this is exactly why he wanted to be here uh, as a manager. He wanted special nights like this, he wanted weeks like this where you've got St Mirren away, which is just as important as any other game. Then you've got a massive European night, then you've got a massive game on Sunday. That's why you're at this club. You have to be You have to be up to those sorts of challenges and, and not shy away from them. And there's one man there, he certainly won't. Yeah, James Tavernier was 80th game as captain of Rangers in Warsaw a week ago yet to turn 28 that happens in just over a month away he's the inspirational skipper from the way he goes about his job perhaps maybe not the most vocal though Andy oh he drives the team on Tom um, just at the right moments just when it's really important I think it was one of the first games of the season Motherwell away he, he, he drove the team on sorry Kilmarnock away I think it was um, and, and, and he is vital uh, you know just that, that drive but not necessarily the vocal it's just the drive he gives them on the pitch we're about to get underway. Legia in their green kit trim with black. And the roof at Ibrox has just been raised again. Rangers attacking the Broom Lone Road end of the stadium. Long searching ball from Goldson trying to turn the defence. It's dealt with by Jan Drecek, but Rangers looking to get the early initiative playing the game inside Legia's half of the field. Jack called up to the Scotland squad. Thoroughly deserved. Davis for Barisic. First touch for the Croatian. Pressure on the ball from Vilja and Katic works it back for an early touch for Alan McGregor. I think there's your answer, Tom. Like, yeah, don't think they're going to sit in, don't think they're going to sit back. Very, you know, pressing quite quite high up the pitch there. And a little joining us this evening on Rangers TV, bringing you full live and exclusive match commentary from Ibrox, a night when winner takes all. Round the corner from Kulinovic. Chase down there by Vesovic, but Barisic keeping things tidy. Vilda, who's the playmaker in this leg side. Oh, it's been given away. Pounced upon by Scott Arfield. Morelos is on the move. It's Arfield driving at the defender. Still Scott Arfield stumbles. Gets it across the face. Squeezed away. Challenge there from Davis. Aribo can't gather either. And taken away by Martins. In fact, played long now for... Vesovic is Rangers in the back foot. Vesovic into the safe gloves of Alan McGregor. The game going box to box in a matter of seconds. Scott Arfield would be disappointed there. He could, we, could, we could see it, you know, he, he just slightly overran the ball. It didn't really open up for him, and then we see the break from Legia Warsaw, and that's certainly what they'll be looking for tonight. Well, both teams committed. Arfield in for Morelos. Couldn't work out his feet just moments ago. Introduces Barisic. Is Legia in the back foot, first taste of the ball for Ojo, in for a rebo. Ojo looking for the return, gets a wee break there, Aribo again exchanging with Jack, drives away from Marko Vesovic, Golson heavy with that one, Tavernier gives chase, he's kept it in play, gets the green light from the far side assistant but it's launched away by Rocca. 
I think we're seeing two teams from this first whistle, Andy, just going for each other's jugular. Yeah, definitely. Rangers playing into the wind slightly. You can see Connor Golson there with the, with the longer ball that James Tavernier held up nicely, actually, in the wind. And I think you can tell it's, it's very, very open. But the, for me, the important thing is every single Rangers player has had a touch of the ball already. They look comfortable despite the amazing atmosphere tonight. It's really, really buzzing. They've all had a touch of the ball, which is so important just to settle yourself down into the game. Searching delivery from Barisic. No free kick. Here's Shea Ojo looking for Arfield. Well defended again, and there it's left trick this time with the clearance. No, no chance. I think we're going to get a bit of this tonight. It's Sandro Kulinovic using his big frame, trying to win the free kick, and he does so successfully. Started at Dinamo Zagreb, going head to head there with another Croatian in the form of Nico Katic. These guys know each other well, they're both under 21 caps for Croatia. Yeah, it just, you know, Rangers need to be streetwise, a little bit Slovenian officials tonight. And uh, if any, that, certainly if that, that call is anything to go by, Rangers really need to be careful with, with their challenges. It's European football, it's a little bit different to the, the Scottish Premiership, and sometimes you just have to stand your ground. Yes. Igor Levchuk. Katic climbing majestically. Wins his header. Barisic can't find Ojo. Both teams, when they don't have possession, and they, the way they're aggressively hunting to get it back is so obvious. Morelos gets clattered again. The referee lets the game continue, held up by Cafu. Sting taken out of things as he works it back to his back four. I think it's two very honest teams, Tom. They certainly put the work in off the ball, comfortable on the ball, um, and it's going to be a really, really tough night. And, and um, need to give it absolutely everything oh and Rangers win it in the high line again it's Alfredo Morelos he's got Arfield wide Morelos body checked follow up Ojo wide of the target the referee gives advantage Rangers I don't think he can bring it back now Shea Ojo arriving so quickly as it breaks into his path undoubtedly though Morelos taking out the game no attempt to play the ball from left hook which under normal circumstance, Andy, as we see it again here, must surely be a yellow card. For me, Tom, if the referee gives a free kick, which he clearly did because he played advantage, if you like, he, he has to give the yellow card retrospectively. He needs to come back and give the yellow card. I'm not quite sure why. I mean, it's, it's only five minutes into the game, but that was a, you know, a brilliant opportunity. If Alfredo Morelos gets past, um, I, didn't, I didn't make out the defender, but if he gets no. past him, you know, it's a, yep. it's, it's a real opportunity. It's a booking for me and... Just disappointing, Shehi Oju, he'll be disappointed with that, he cut right across it and you know the first thing you've got to do there is hit the target. Jack wins it and releases up down the flank as Tavernier, he loses out and turn to Lukinja. Davis comes back to offer some resistance. Fed in for Cafu, robbed by Aribo, won again in there by Martins, the Portuguese player. Switch wide for Vesovic. On the flank is Stolarski, always willing to get forward. Now we see Legia trying to get a bit of rhythm. Martin holds it up. Back to Levchuk, who was the man who body checked Morelos moments ago. And back to their skipper, Jan Drecek, as they try and take the sting and the tempo out the game, Andy. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's sensible, if you like, from Legia. They haven't really settled, I don't think. There's a number of loose passes in midfield that Rangers. From a, from a Rangers point of view have been brilliantly on top of they picked up a number of loose balls in, in these sorts of areas and, and managed to hit on the break just as they're about to do now yeah it's Luis Roca again making good ground down the flank the wing back and again runs into traffic yeah Join Davis Davis Jack and Aribo yeah. you know they're picking up all loose balls in there which only six minutes in but that's good to see it was given away by Tavernier grabbed by Kulinovic still Kulinovic Oh, and he takes stage fright, tugs it wide, claims there was deflection. But again, Rangers sloppily gifting position to Legia and Kulenovic. 1v3 in here will be so disappointed he didn't do better. Golds does well to get across, likewise Katic, and the ball doesn't trouble Alan McGregor. The fastest seven minutes of the week. Goodness, Rybert. Barisic guns it long. Ojo gives chase, it's just too heavy. And out to gather is Radislav Majewski. Just 19 years of age, the big goalkeeper. Pre-match doubts about Shea Ojo with an injury, carrying a bit of a knock. 
he looks fine at the moment. As Rocket gives chase, he's quick. Not that quick. So good to have Ojo on the side. Four goals, of course, already this season. Made his Liverpool debut as an 18-year-old Shea Ojo. On the other flank, it was the fullback Rocket getting forward. Celtic won 4 1 this evening against the yeah, okay, Stockholm, so they've made safe passes through the group stages. Rangers looking to join them this evening. A win ensures that any kind of win. Barisic, a rebound, not really shown so far. Barisic can't get it away from the back track and Stolarski. But that's probably the dimension that Steven Gerrard and Gary McAllister want from Borna Barisic tonight, perhaps more than John Flanagan would give you. Yeah, Rangers need to score goals, they need to go and Barisic fires it in, headed away Roca. Jack tries to keep it in the box. There's Morelos now, does well to work it wide. Tavernier will fire it in early, deflects off Roca again in there a long while. Now he hooks it away, only as far as Davis. Rangers pushing bodies forward to keep the pressure on. Tavernier can't quite gather. Again, Roca so far has been a standout for the visitors. But yeah, that's what the management team want from Borna Barisic. Absolutely, great, great to see him. I think that's confidence again, goes in the overlap of, of Ojo there. and It's just that natural balance, Tom, and that, that quality as well from the wider areas and James Tavernier and, uh, and Barisic himself. Is, is, is In a game like tonight, when, when it, it might just be one goal that wins it, um, it's so important to have that, that real quality. Cushion ball, Ojo introduces Arfield. Arfield holds off the back track in Brazilian Cafu. Support comes from Ryan Jack. He's got a bit of an angle to make up to get the ball in the box. Does well. Swivels. Looks for his options. Tavernier provides one. Jack keeps the ball himself. Now he launches it in looking for Mavella. Oh, no. Inching wide of the target. The delivery from Ryan Jack. Absolutely on the money. And Alfredo Morelos inside the six-yard box. Look at the delivery from Jack again. And Morelos... It just inches wide of the target. Great delivery. Fine effort, Morelos. But goal was yet at Ibrox. It's not like him, Tom. I think we were all waiting to, to get to our feet there. Excellent ball in from Ryan Jack. So difficult to defend. Back onto his left foot. And it's on a, a plate for Alfredo Morelos. And, you know, nine times out of ten, I think that hits the back of the net. He's got seven European goals for the season already. And it almost seemed to pitch. And then what way did the target end? I think it was sliding that way and, and he, he simply just didn't get enough on it Tom maybe um, maybe the header back across the goal might have been the better option but it's so difficult to say it came to him very quickly and there's Rocket gonna... again launches it in Golson stands firm under some pressure from Vilja Tavernier comes back and just gets it away Arfield reads it with yeah, a wonderful touch. touch from Arfield down as he makes good headway the referee lets things go. It was Rocker with the challenge. Picked up Morelos. He's found Joe Aribo. Oh, Aribo standing up to Lasky. Joe Aribo in there for Ojo. Arfield as well in the ultimate effort. Tame and gathered by goalkeeper Majewski. But Rangers Andy Little knocking on the door. Oh, you have to be, be, be really, really positive, Tom. They've, they've, they've cr carved out a couple of really good opportunities already, but it's, it's frustrating at the same time because it just feels like there's that... That little bit of quality and composure in the final third is just missing in the in the opening uh, period of the game, but great play, and it's good to see that they're picking up so many loose balls in midfield and really, really hurting Legia so far. And they're not in a hurry to get the ball back into play. Katic does well, picked up by Martins, squeezes it in again, and it's Katic who missed out on Sunday. Clearing it there as Ojo tries to give the slip to Pavel Stolarski. Ujo started brightly. He has, yeah. He's been up and down, Tom. Not only, not only in the attacking sense, he's been right back with uh, Borna Barisic in cover. He, he certainly doesn't look to be carrying anything, which is, which is great to see. But you have to wonder about a couple of these, a couple of yeah. these tackles and challenges. Rangers are on the break, and, and they're pretty, pretty obvious fouls to me. And you've got to look for the for a booking soon. Julia tries to release Vesovic. Rangers defend again in numbers. The clearance only as far as Stolarski. 23-year-old, started at Wisla Krakow, way to the other side now. They're trying to tease Rangers to come forward as Levchuk and Jandrejcik exchange. Dropping off is Vesovic. Coming short again is Vilja. Gets away from Arfield. 
down the line for Lucas Lukinja. Delia again launches it in, making a late supporting run from midfield was Cafu. No one's matched the run and and he split the centre backs. Uh, Alan McGregor, I'm not sure if there was a shout there. Bonavares wasn't too sure who was who was behind him. There was nobody, um, and he could have let that go through all the way for a goal kick. But to be fair, if in doubt, as they say, absolutely. But uh, maybe maybe we can blame that on the fans. <laughs> they were very they were, noisy. They were too loud, and uh, yeah, as you say, you got to safe rather than sorry but Rangers need to defend now this set piece first corner of the evening goes away of Legia which Vaco Vilja will take it is spelled with Luzerne in Switzerland 23 caps for Georgia an experienced campaigner Rangers have to be switched on and none more so than Ryan Jack, the clearing header. And Morelos with a cute flick. Here's Ojo. Would quite open up from and closed down by Rocker. Switch a play from Jack has found Morelos. Here's Tavernier. Oh, an excellent defending again. Well, as Rangers are the laying siege to the no final chance. third. And the referee this time sees that one as a free kick as Rangers were breaking in numbers. The referee, to be fair, Andy, has tried to let the game flow. And on this occasion, I think he's done a real turn for Legia Warsaw there's absolutely nothing in it if anything it's a foul on James Tavernier at the end there Tom with a wee stamp I don't know what he's seeing that referee there's, for me that is uh, wave play on and get on with it but Rangers you know just a little bit loose a couple of times now when they get those opportunities to, to turn Legia um, they've just lacked that little bit of quality um, and ruthlessness if you want to go on and get a, a real proper, proper effort at goal of you know, and it's uh, but it's good to see. You know, every time every time they break, they, they look really really dangerous. Well, the referee had P.O.K. Salonica against Ajax just three weeks ago. He's been doing FIFA games at European level for nine seasons, so he knows the ropes. Katic takes a touch, invites Delia to close him down, but he has the composure to work it back to McGregor. What a ball delivered for Arfield. Defender again comes off with a bit of a lucky break, Roca, and it breaks into the path of Lukinja via Martins as well. All the way back to Majewski. And the Legia fans making a bit of noise at the moment. Just over 15 minutes under our belt at Ivrox. Thanks for joining us on Rangers TV. It's Rangers nil at Legia Warsaw nil. We've now gone effectively 105 minutes between the sides without a goal. They're quite happy to take the ball in and just run down the clock as well while in possession. And then you know then that when the opportunity arises, they will try and hit you with a bit of a sting. Yeah, I think out of possession, Rangers are definitely sort of more, more of a 4-4-2. Almost Scott Arfield is up joining Alfredo Morelos. Um, and I think that's to try and put a little bit more pressure on them. But they've got that over, that extra man in the midfield areas. He's dropping off and bouncing it. And it's allowing them, you know, good sa safe possession of the ball. But certainly in the opening you know, the opening exchanges, what we've seen, it's, it's, it's really, really positive from Rangers' point of view. They've just got to go and, and finish it off next time they get an opportunity. And in Ryan Jack, we've got a player who sees opportunities early and the accuracy of his distribution is quite incredible. Well, I'm putting him under a bit of pressure there as he takes over with Lukinia right on his shoulder. Well done, Ryan. Barisic from Morelos does well to step off. It would appear the two centre-backs aren't happy coming that 20 yards further away from the last third. Yeah, just a little bit loose from Alfredo Morelos there. Here's Vilja. To the injured ball. No, assistance says not the case. Thomas Klansnick from Slovenia, the man with the flag. Stolarski looking for options. Kafu provides one, takes it into the corner, breaks off Ojo, comes back off Kafu, and Rangers get the throw in this time round now Cafu originally joined on loan from Mets last August 
Slaat er eens een keer hier uit Benfica. Popped away by Jack. <laughs> Again, Roca just works it back to his skipper, Jandricek. Shows for the return as he gets it on the angle. Rangers regroup, proving difficult to play through, pressuring the ball from our field. Do we need to get a rebo a wee bit more involved, Andy? I think when Rangers are in possession, they, they look really, really good and they look like they're going to cause problems, but it's, it's just managing these periods out of possession. Um, you don't want to go chasing too much and, and leave yourself open. The game is still, you know, it's still nil-nil and it's still there. One goal wins it and that's the, it's a real psychological battle for me tonight. Um, you know, it's a kind of a stick or twist. Players need to decide when is the right times to go and chase the game and, and when's the right time just to sit in, allow, allow like you to have a little bit of possession and then try and nick it off them. Here's Aribo, wonderful touch. Just stands up for himself and skips away from Cafu. No one putting a press on Aribo in possession as Stephen Davis has it now. And Barisic pops it in for Arfield. Arfield can't get it down and get away from his marker. Decision goes in favour of Legia. Scott Arfield, a real warrior in Rangers colours. Was in the first ever Falkirk team to play in Europe ten seasons ago. <laughs> Arfield got clattered, but Jack picks it up. He's found Morelos. Alfredo Morelos. Well, he had his finger on the trigger there, and he just couldn't get connection, and he was robbed of possession by the backtrack and the left chuk. Stephen Davis very determined, but the free kick go, again, go against him there. I think the pace of delivery caught Stephen Davis out there as he comes through the back of the Legia midfielder. Vilja, old soldier, taking his time to get back to his feet. Stephen Davis, up close and personal. Here's the chance here for Alfredo Morelos. It's a clever ball from Ryan Jack. He just works out from under his feet and then ultimately couldn't get his shot away, Andy. I think he had Levchuk in his, you know, in his peripheral vision, and that's what stopped him pulling the leg back and and, uh, and getting the shot away. Katic quickly across as Vesovic tries to get on the end of the slip ball from Stolarski. Well, we did say pretty much when we were chatting, not a huge difference of a lot between the teams, but Rangers certainly looked to have more flair. But at the moment, it's the industry of Legia that's giving them opportunities. Fired in by Stolarski. Rangers deal with it. Here's Tavernier. He's got Arfield ahead of him. Jack drops anchor. Stephen Davis has a look over his shoulder before he gets the pass. Now he fires it wide for Borna Barisic. Rangers using the full width of Lyrex. Incidentally, they watered the pitch for a good half hour prior to kick-off. And Jack again, who's very much the playmaker this evening. Tavernier tries to give the slip to the backtracking Legia wide man. It's a real it's test Stephen of the Davis. nerves. Real test of the nerves tonight, I think, Tom, for, for players and fans. As Barisic, Ojo takes over. And the decision again goes in favour of Legia. Halfway through the First 45, all but. And of course, Legia has seven games in Europe to tonight with their defence yet to be breached, Andy. Yeah, it's a pretty incredible start. I mean, Ranger, Rangers have been free-flowing scoring yeah. form, if you like. They've conceded a few, mind you, but um, Legia, I mean, seven, seven clean sheets. In any three, company. Three wins and, and four draws is... Yeah. Is, is really really impressive and I think you can tell that already even though Rangers have created half opportunities there's been enough last gas defending if you like just to, to stop Rangers getting a clear opportunity as Ojo a great take from Ojo fires it in headed away by Levchuk but yeah they're a big unit and they're defensively very very strong I think they're a very honest team a bit like a bit like Rangers and they do plenty of work off the ball and, and just don't allow teams or don't allow Rangers as it is tonight much oh, space and opportunities. Wonderful again from Ojo. He's dug out a delivery again. It's Levchuk with a clearing header. The Rangers fans enjoying 
the way the Rangers are trying to get into a flow. Here's Connor Goldson. A rebound. Tries to glance his header on target just underneath it. Couldn't get enough on it there. But again, it, it's a great variation your centre backs step out, Andy. Yeah, no, we used to, we've seen we've seen centre backs at Rangers do that for, for years and sometimes that's what happens when games get a little bit sticky and 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 the teams are sitting off you, there's there's an opportunity for a centre half just to step in and uh, you know, Connor Golson's got enough quality, you see that with the big diagonal passes he has in his locker, he's he's more than capable of going in and putting a, a pretty decent ball into the box there, just Alfredo Morella's not getting quite enough on it, I think. Shades of magic beginner. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of exactly who I was thinking of actually, yeah. When Rangers are under the cosh, it's been obvious that Tavernier tucks in with the centre backs. Not for the first time tonight, we've seen him with a clearing header and a crunching challenge there on Luquin here, the Brazilian. Uh, Levchuk, Golson again does well, steps out and away Good from Kalinovic. Here's Morelos, Arfield the central, Ojo drops off, now he goes, still afraid of Morelos, hits the target, brings the save out of from Majeski, and yeah. It's all about a striker full of confidence in his own ability. He had other options, but my goodness, when he does get his shot away here, Andy Little, he gets everything behind it. Yeah, it's one of those, Tom. If that takes the slightest of nick off the, the inside of the leg here, that's that's in the bottom left-hand corner, and we're, we're celebrating. I felt like he could have he could have passed it maybe in a couple of he had a couple of options, but he's a man on fire. He's a man in, in real confidence, and you can't blame him going and having a shot and goal. Ojo chasing lost causes. Morelos tries to spin beyond left shoot. The rebo smuggles it in there again for Morelos. Goes to ground and the referee sees nothing wrong. Or rather, he sees it as a free kick against Morelos. Now, referees don't always get it right, but we have to respect the decisions they make. Let's we do. See it again. We do. There's no point in... No point in uh, Getting annoyed by it for yeah. me, Tom. You know he's he's come through the back of Alfredo Morelos there, and it's a Rangers free kick. But referees see it differently. Sometimes you have to just, as he says on his arm bars there, respect and move on. But I, I suspect it was the second part of that challenge. I think he was letting the game go, and then in the follow-up, he just perhaps clipped. As we see it again here, Andy, watch Morelos. He gets clattered, but then he is a wee clip to catch the full back. That's it's. I wouldn't even. Yeah, I mean. I'm only guessing. It's, Try to join the dots it's, here. It's the, it's the first challenge for me, Tom, that, you know, it, it's, he's come straight through the back of it. We saw Steve Davis only a few minutes ago getting a, a free kick and a talking to, actually, yep. uh, for doing the exact same thing in the middle of the pitch. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a free kick, Rangers, in my opinion, but there's no point in uh, this. I mean, it's this, it's this nonsense that we don't, you know, we don't want to see um, get on with the game. I think Legia are definitely every opportunity they get, Tom, they're, they're trying to take the sting out of the game. I think yep. at nil-nil they are they're quite happy um, for now anyway. Uh, I think they'd be delighted at half-time to go in at nil-nil. Rangers will be thinking they really try, want to try and get one and two and, and put this put this to bed. Now Stolaski getting extended treatment has to leave the field just for the moment. Legia down to ten. Interesting chat between Aribo and Davis. Well, the game has stopped momentarily, Andy. It must be great for a youngster making your way in the game, like Joe Aribo, just 23, to have Stephen Davis on your shoulder and in your ear. Yeah, absolutely. He's a brilliant professional with an almighty uh, experience, <laughs> you know, under his belt. But it's interesting to see Tom whenever, whenever Legia have the ball. Rangers are definitely setting up in a 4-4-2. Scott Arfield's joining Alfredo Morelos, and I think that's a bid just to try and. You know, try and not allow Legia too much of the ball and uh, and that's why Steve Davis was chatting to to Aribo I think to bring him into the centre midfield position yeah, Ryan, Jacks, more advanced Ryan Jacks pushing out to the right the moment. Yeah. Yeah. so basically Stephen Davis and Ryan Jacks in real deal with them in midfield go and hurt them in the final third uh, yeah, maybe it's a little change that they're trying to make because certainly I think in the opening exchanges whenever Rangers haven't had the ball it's been a 4-4-2 and Aribo's been sitting right back in there with them Sprayed wide, Morelos. Tavernier is strong and determined in the challenge. And the referee gives the award again in favour of Legia. Well, it was Lucas Lukinja. It's a 50-50 here for my money, Andy. 
and the player for me has injured himself by trying to get a challenge after the ball had been played by Tavernier. Yeah, it's difficult to see. If James Tavernier gets a touch in that ball, then there's 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 nothing in it at all. If he doesn't get a touch, it's a it's a certain free kick. But I think the uh, the atmosphere in here is just so hyped, and there is a serious amount of tension as you see a loose pass yeah. from midfield. It's uh, you know it's high stakes. There's a lot to play for, and it's uh, two very very evenly matched teams. And even the most experienced player this intimidating atmosphere is making them do things that are pretty uncharacteristic to their normal game Andy. Uh, yeah I mean they, they, all, they all know the importance of this first goal Tom um, if Legia get it Rangers need two if Rangers get it <laughs> they still might need another because you know it's one goal completely swings it the other way again so it's it's a really interesting I, I don't agree with the way goal, goal rule I have to say um, but that's the way it is, and, it is, it is. and Rangers have to manage it tonight Barisic Oh Joe with paint in the boots he's hugging the touchline two doubling up against him there Ryan Jack Arfield's on the move Tavernier isn't getting much joy out of Rocker this evening but again the decision goes in favour of Legia it looked to me as if Lukinia had held the ball in there We'll get another chance to see it here. He can't do that. That's crab football, protecting the ball. The decision has to be the other way. But the referee, from a distance, awards it to Legia and Luquinha, the Brazilian, previously with Benfica and Aves in Portugal. Went down as if he was absolutely bordering on needing absolute life support machine. Meanwhile, between the sticks, Alan McGregor, he's been busy on a couple of occasions, but that's what you get from Alan McGregor. Long spells of inactivity, Andy, but when he has to make that save, he usually does. Yeah, some of the saves some of the saves last week were, were absolutely outstanding. He always makes really difficult saves look so easy. Um, and ho Hopefully we don't need him, but if we do, I'm sure he'll be there. Marfield get clattered there off the ball, but the referee let the game go. Goals and clips it out to Tavernier. Does well to head it into the path of Arfield and gets the return pass. Aribo is central and wants it. Has to be brave and strong, and he is. Barisic joining in. Ojo's ahead of him, back for Aribo. Tries to return the ball for Barisic. Aribo does Brilliant. well, recovers it well. Here's Burn the Barisic, pops it in right footed. Morelos the target, he's underneath it. The clearing header only as far as Ryan Jack. Tavernier drops off and he gets it from Ryan Jack. Davis in support as well. Good spell for Rangers as they're making the passes count. And here's Arfield, always on the move, always looking, always on that half turn. Gets it back from Ryan Jack. Just shows too much to Cafu though. Vilja links again to Cafu. It's Davis who stops him in his tracks in the early ball over the top from Vesevic. Turned around the corner by Kulenovic. The runner is Vilja and Katic stands for him. He's been outstanding so far. Nico Katic growing by the game as a top, top defender. And the fans enjoyed it. The inspiration Rangers are looking for, provided by Katic. Here's Rangers on the counter now. Ojo, Jack, Tavernier is wide on the right. Fires it into his path. Delivers early. It's testing the goalkeeper he elects not to come. Well, there's one where the goalkeeper was perhaps caught in two minds. Not the accuracy they want, but signs are that Rangers are just trying to move the ball a bit quicker, Andy. Yeah, <laughs> fair play to you, Tom. It's uh, hard not to get wrapped up in this atmosphere. It's absolutely brilliant. When, when Rangers broke away there, some great defending from, from Katic and, 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 and earlier from uh, Conor Goldson actually making a great decision just to clear his lines. Brilliant defending and, and on the counter-attack, Rangers looking really, really dangerous again because Leggy have settled in the last kind of 10 minutes or so. Um, but the fans really, really getting behind the team there. Well, let you know what it takes to win here in Glasgow. Back in 2014, they beat Celtic both home and away uh, in the reign of Henning Berg, the former Manchester United and Rangers defender. He was the boss at the time. And then it was determined that they had fielded an ineligible player and a 3-0 reversal went against them as Goldston again has to be quick. Cafu comes across and Goldston does well. Now he'll just get it away. And Legia were knocked out because of that ineligible player in Celtic. Made progress despite losing home and away. However, tonight we just want this job done in 90 minutes. 
we have the firepower, we have the personnel of the qualities to do so. McGregor, Tavernier, Golson, Katic, Barisic, Jack, Davis, Ojo, Arfield, Aribo, Morelos, the starting 11, Fotheringham, Hillander, Defoe, Flanagan, Kamara, Jones and Stewart on the bench. And a wonderful determination from Stephen Davis. Oh, yes, a very late one there again. Morelos gives chase. Well, this Polish side certainly up for the physical side of the game. It was a very late challenge on Stephen Davis. Certainly no rolling about, though, as tall no. as we've seen from the Legia team so far. Took the, took the late challenge and just got on with it. Aribo tries to go beyond the strikers. Ojo does enough to close them down and keep Legia inside their own final 20 yards or so. Katic again. It's a dangerous area to come and attack it, but he is a player again who just looks... Well, I, I hate to overpraise him, but I say to Richard Goff the way he's going about the level of aggression, controlled aggression, and a real win, will to win as well, Andy. Yeah, I think the, the most um, the most sort of impressive thing about the two of them, we see James Tavernier with a bit of defending to do here. He does well to stand up. Oh, the break goes in favour of Legia. There's a shooting chance, and Alan McGregor deals with it. Well, again, it's looking here. He's got free. He wriggled free of James Tavernier. Tavernier thought he'd dealt with it. The break falls kindly for Lucas Lukin here. He's got Al McGregor in his sights, and all he can do is hit the target as the game again continues with a very late, late challenge. This time it's Cafu, the perpetrator, on Ryan Jack, who's down and needing some treatment. But just as we spoke about earlier, when you're looking for a big save and a platform to go forward from, Alan McGregor delivers. Yeah, that's, that's bread and butter for him, but we see this, another late challenge in the middle of the park. The referee finally, finally giving Rangers a, a free kick. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the danger, Tom, and that's, that's all it takes. We're really lucky, I have to say. James Tavernier very unlucky just with the, the break of the ball, um, but Alan McGregor more than up to that one. No damage done, Ryan. Jack is good to go. I think Rangers just need to settle back in, Tom. They've, they've lost their way slightly. Leggy, I think, have definitely settled. Um, you know, and it's, it might just take a wee bit of individual brilliance tonight. That's that's the way it looks like it's going to be. That you know, it's been really, really tight for, as you said, 90 minutes over there and another 35 here so far. It might just take a wee bit of something special from from one of the more advanced players, if you like, to or try a and set uh, play a bit like Sunday, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely, and hopefully that's why this man's on the pitch. Yeah, there's definitely a trend. You can see exactly what Leggy are doing. Whenever they get the ball, they're they're not too eager to go forward. They're they're happy just to keep the ball and, and let the, the minutes tick away. And and then at every opportunity they get to win a free kick and slow the game down, they're they're doing exactly that. Rangers are, are still trying to to get on top of the game and get back on top of the game because they certainly were um, at the start of the game. There's a switch from Golson. No one gets anything on it. Ojo challenging Pavel Stolarski. And this is Legia head coach taking on some refreshment. Be relatively happy the way his team have been about their job at the moment. Alexander Vukovic. Two spells at the club as a player. Ryan Jack called into the Scotland squad. A hugely deserved recognition for the way that Ryan Jacks started the season. Two Scotland caps previously, let's hope. He gets a fair crack of the whip from the Tartan Army. He more than deserves it. Olsen underneath it makes the big call. Knocked away by Rocker. Katic reads it early. Game ahead tennis at the moment. Connor Golson 
Jack again dropping off to try and engineer something. This leggy team really, really work hard off the ball, Tom. You can see exactly why they haven't conceded in their in their whole qualifying campaign so far. They each to a man, they've got really good shape, they're really difficult to, to break down and find little little pockets of space and, 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 and when they're challenging they're they're big and strong and you know, I do feel like it's gonna have to be something special from Rangers. A little bit of individual brilliance, a set piece, um, or a mistake, I suppose. Oh, but that's a, a shocking challenge. The referee has a decision to make here, and he goes for yellow. Stolarski cautioned, likewise in the first leg, picked up a booking, Pavel Stolarski, and there's no intent here to play the ball in any shape or form, Andy Little. What I would love to know, Tom, is what argument he's trying to make there with the referee <laughs> once the referee goes to the book. It's, it's two feet are off the ground, studs are up, yep. and he catches a real nasty one on Joe Rebo. It's, it's the worst we've seen tonight by far. Um, and, you know, the referee's done well. I don't think there's been a booking yet, has there? That's the first. That's so the first he's reason. done well to actually keep his cards in, I suppose, until, until that point. There's no doubt uh, that's a booking at the, at, at the very least. Joe Rebo back to his feet, no damage done. What an environment for this young Londoner, though. Four goals already, three of which have come in the European campaign. And Barisic to deliver. Morelos. Crowley. As well to cushion it back for a rebel. Davis shows for support. Legger with everyone behind the ball. Out to James Tavernier, half time, six minutes away. Tavernier looks to deliver, he's going beyond Roca. Can he fire it in? It's headed away but returned again. Kept alive by Arfu, looking for Morelos, headed away by Cafu. Oh, look at Ryan Jacks, how alert and aware he is. Does so well to squeeze it back to Tavernier. Under pressure, Vilja fires it in, headed away by Leftuk. I don't think anyone in the stadium wants half time, Andy. Here's Stephen Davis, fancies it. Let's fly, it comes cannoning back to him though. Barisic for Rojo. He needs to stretch Legia here. The step over tries to create that half yard. Rangers could do with just keeping this pressure on. Six minutes, five minutes to half time now and try and play the game in the Legia half. Aribo's looking to get involved. He's been tracked by Cafu as well to get it back to Barisic who launches it in again. Morelos had come short, Arthur just underneath it, it does behind for a goal kick. Five minutes of a pulsating first half remaining at Ibrox. The score line, Rangers nil, and they get worse on nil as it was just a week ago after 90 minutes of end to end action. Rangers with one change in the side tonight, the introduction of Borna Barisic from last Thursday with John Flanagan on the bench and he's tried to get forward as an auxiliary forward when he can in Steven Gerrard's game plan. Well, it's coming together to a degree. It just needs that final probing pass and a genuine chance to come our way, Andy. Yeah, I just think because it's so tight, Tom, it's, it's down to winning individual individual battles. And you see there in the last few minutes, you know, um, James Tavernier getting a bit of joy on the right-hand side, Ryan Jack winning an indi individual battle, Steve Davis getting on top of, of the opposition as well. I think that when, it, when it's this tight, you have to just match your marker up and, and, and come out on top, and then and then opportunities will happen. Steve Davis flips it through the legs of Vilja under some pressure from the ball with a blue light on it from Borna Barisic. Here's Tavernier. Oh, again, puts it down the line. Arfield gathers now. Tavernier goes beyond him. Still Scott Arfield. Jack will swirl one in. Takes a touch first, though. Tries to create the incisive pass with James Tavernier. And again, it's looking here. Backtracking to good effect. We're actually seeing Ojo slightly wider. Is that to create the channel for a reboot to drive into, perhaps? Andy, whereas earlier in the exchanges we saw Ojo slightly narrower. Yeah, I think the importance is just good, good position. Oh, sorry, good possession. Um, once you have that good, solid possession, Tom, you can, you can look at your your position and, and, and how to create space. But in, in order to, to do that sort of thing, you need to you need to get good, solid possession of the ball. And, and Rangers are certainly doing that just at the minute. Oh, Barisic takes it in under some genuine pressure from Vesovic and Cafu taking over. All the way back with Alan McGregor. 
made his European debut for Rangers back in 2006 against Molde of Norway. Ojo won challenged. That sums up the nervy nature of this first 43 minutes, Andy. I think he was in two minds. It was a ball that was kind of between himself and, and uh, Borna Barazic. And I don't think he knew quite what was behind him, but he certainly had a lot more time there just to take that one down. It has. It's been nervy, Tom. There's been plenty of mistakes from both sides, especially in the middle area of the pitch, I think, where there's a lot of bodies. And, um, you know, it's just the work rate of both teams actually off the ball. They're not making it easy for, e for each other. They're happy enough to sit off. Um, the back fours if you want um, they're happy enough for you to keep possession in your own half but as soon as the ball comes into that midfield area uh, and into the final third both teams are really really on top of each other well, Rangers 2 have 5 clean sheets in the campaign so it's frugal defences from both sides an error for either side though could indeed be pretty fatal Andy yeah, and I think maybe a set piece <laughs> the physicality of some of these challenges the referee will I think start to give a few more free kicks maybe um, and that, you know, that might be where it comes from. Maribo, <laughs> quick feet there after Jack had intervened to take it away from Kulinovic. Thanks too to all our commercial partners this evening joining us for all the action on Rangers TV. Davis, Arfield tries to do it early. It was always a very difficult ball to execute. They recover well in numbers though. Davis spinning away from Martins, but the throw in goes in favour of Legia. Stephen Davis made his first Rangers goal, came against Werder Bremen in the UEFA Cup 11 seasons ago. Scott Arfield just looking for that little ball around the corner. We've seen so much of that from him this season, but unfortunately it came onto his left side and he wasn't able to, to swing it round, if you like. Katic stooping to head it away. Cafu scoops it away from Aribo. Martins alongside is Ryan Jack, and there's nothing in that one. 45 minutes on the clock, goals are Ivory. We've got a chance to see this one again. No wonder Ryan Jack's asking the question. He won't change his decision there, but it's six of one half dozen the other. There's absolutely nothing in it, Tom. Um, but, as we said, you just have to you just have to get on with it. Vilja goes down and has a look at the ref, claims it and gets it. Played early. Up to the big striker Kulinovic, turns it around the corner. Here's the attacking fullbox, Dolarski. But Ojo up to the task. I thought it was a goal kick and myself. A wee bit after us inside the Rangers six yard box by Vesovic and Alan McGregor having words. Aribo's got between them as we chance to see it here again. It's a great challenge. It may just have broken back off Ojo in the second corner of the evening for Legia. But there you are off the ball, the referee having a word with both McGregor and Vesovic. Vesovic turned 28 yesterday. 27 caps for Montenegro. Not quite sure which language you'll be communicating with Alan McGregor in, though. Meanwhile, corner to be defended. 45 minutes played, one additional minute, according to the fourth official, which start right now. A bit of pushing, a bit of positioning. Nervy final exchanges of this first 45 action at Ibrox. A blank scoreline as things stand. Vilja to deliver. Now Vilja fires it in. There's the header just wide of the target. Well, Carlos Cafu finding that corner of space to get his header away. It doesn't trouble Alan McGregor. Vesovic with his head and hands, so that is an absolute genuine chance, just as we see it again, Andy. Yeah, it's uh, not quite sure who he gets the run on there, but uh, Rangers doing enough anyway. I mean, that would have been absolutely devastating to, to concede at that point. They certainly wouldn't have deserved it, but I think on the whole, they'll be happy with the first half. They've had the, the, the better of the opportunity, certainly, and it's, it's down to a, a, big t a big talk now at half time and, and see what they can do. The rain is on at Ibrox, and yet the ground staff had the pitch watered almost throughout the first 10 minutes of the interval. Tonight, Rangers, McGregor in goal, a back four of Tavernier, Golks and Katic, Barisic, Jack and Davis in midfield, Ojo, Arfield, Aribo in support, Norellas, the main striker. On the bench, as we see the substitutes go through, a bit of a warm-up. Obviously, Jordan Jones has pace to burn. We earlier saw a shot of Jermaine Defoe, who's itching for game time. Also there, Philippe Helander, Glenn Kamara, 
Greg Stewart also involved and Wes Fodringham the change goalkeeper John Flanagan is another defensive option but I'm not sure that we'll see changes as Rangers take the field first for the second half they want to start the second period the way they started the first half Andy and lay siege to this Legia goalkeeper Radislav Majewski's goal yeah I'm, you know a good start is, is, is key but I must say when we're talking about the subs they're really feel like uh, like Jordan Jones might be the answer actually in this game it's, it's going to open up I'm sure of it uh, you know Shea Ojo obviously was a bit of a doubt for the game until quite late on so if there is to be a change I think that's the change we'll see and the right back Stolarski has been cautioned yeah well I mean exactly get at him yeah that's what you want you want uh, Jordan Jones in full flight it would be a, an absolute nightmare for him indeed no changes from either side so it's the same starting 11 for Legia who played last Thursday in Warsaw that's Majewski Stolarski Levchuk Jandrejcik and Roca Kafu Martins Vesovic Vilja Lukinja and Kulinovic Golson has to look lively. And the game stopped away on the far side. There's a head injury out there, and they're calling for urgent attention. No. Could be a major problem. Borna Barisic, he looks as if he's taken one. It's almost like a boxer's type cut on the edge of his eye, and immediately coming across is Doc Waller and physio Steve Walker to check out the welfare of the Croatian defender. Now, it's a clash of heads, effectively, with Niko Katic, and undoubtedly, Borna Barisic has come off worse. The Vaseline is out. Where's your cut man? Need him. Angelo Dundee required. <laughs> I think it was an elbow. I think it was Katic's elbows just caught Borna Barisic there. A wee lack of communication, maybe early in the first, in the second half, sorry. But, yeah, Stevie Walker's got the Vaseline out. That's a, <laughs> that's a good sign. Careful. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a good sign because... I would imagine that means it's just a wee blood yeah. injury and uh, you know there's nothing broken, nothing serious, just a nasty one to start in the second you know half. Well, if you're wondering who Angelo Dundee was, he was the greatest cuts man <laughs> in, well, boxing parlance ever. I was, hence why I didn't, <laughs> didn't react. We didn't know what an exercise it was a couple of seasons <laughs> ago. Every day's a school day for Andy Little. <laughs> Stephen Gerrard after some anxious glances right enough. And of course John Flanagan would be the obvious straight replacement, if need be. Yeah... You know, Borna Barzik is still down, but uh, that's it. No, he's just up now, so... Um, yeah, it looks pretty pretty OK. Bit of a sore one, but... Uh, Might need the sunglasses tomorrow. And you have to go off just to ensure there's no traces of blood. Potentially a, a fly stitch, Andy, just to make sure that the wound won't open again. Stephen Gerrard wants it done quickly. I think he's not happy that he had to come all the way over this side instead of maybe over the far side whether that was maybe to see the fourth official before he goes back and on but caught it as well uh, right yeah. you don't miss with Nico Katic so Aribo's slotted in at left back for the moment they're running repairs Rangers could do with just slowing it down actually and allowing yeah. him back onto the pitch there's no rush Seven years got other ideas. Looking for Arfield. He's got a good first touch. Arfield takes a deflection. Headed away again by left hook. Barisic back on and straight into the action. And they lost just short of two minutes for that stoppage. And Ryan Jack. Lovely Early ball and Morelos just taking out the play again by Jandrzejczyk. Advantage again, it might yet break. Oh, I have no words. <laughs> I have absolutely no words. Oh, uh, this, uh, either way, Tom, I mean, to allow the play to go on for that long and then decide at that moment to stop it is just ridiculous. It's a wonderful touch from... Arfield, uh, sorry, from Tavernier. Morelos is out the game. Advantage Rangers. See the free kick and he brings it back. Free kick though. Tavernier to deliver. Flights it in. Aribo chases. It's 
headed away again by the striker Kulinovic returned by Stephen Davis headed away again by Rocker not the tallest but climbs well might break here for Joe Aribo and look who's first to support Ryan Jack Jack spinning away again fires it in looking for Arfield cleared only as far as Davis but his first touch goes straight to Andre Martins oh. Jack again plays and again the referee brings it back Vilja holds his head we scratch our head because of some of the decisions but 0-0 at Ibrox I think he's seen the elbow here from uh, from Nico Katic or Barry sorry Barisic, Barisic it was yeah, yeah he's seen the elbow but the elbow actually was at his side he, you know he, it wasn't dangerous it was just the height he jumped his elbow happened to be at, uh, at Gulia's head in space is Ruiz Roca only as far as Goldston Oh, great take from Arfield, and he's just obstructed with no attempt to play the ball. Andrew Martins right in front of the referee. A clinical decision. Martins cautioned in the first leg, and that's a yellow card all day long in the normal circumstance. Here's Stephen Davis. Joe Aribo. Barisic ahead of him, hugging the touchline. Ranger just got on with it. Switch a play from Davis. Seven here. Terrific touch. Harfield does well to hold off the challenge of Rocket. Morellas tries to feed it in for Harfield, but Rocket gets it away again. Oh, Golson caught in no man's land, but Katic. Outstanding intervention. It just runs out of play, though. But the way he got across, anticipation, quite terrific, Andy Little. Yeah, I mean, it, we don't like to say too much as the game's going on, but those two, in terms of their awareness of each other, I think is, is night and day, maybe from even last season. They really, they really are there to cover each other when necessary. Meanwhile, ten times capped, Swedish centre-back, Felipe Landa is on the bench. The long ball from Davis is too long for Morelos as he goes shoulder to shoulder with Jandrecek and the keeper comes out to take control but yeah clearly the signing of Philippe Hollander has ensured that the incumbents of the starting jerseys of Katic and Golson you, know, uh, you have to bring your A game game in game in yeah, I just think they've, they've maybe together as a partnership as well they're one season in they, they understand each other a little bit better um, certainly Nico Katic a very young centre half and um, you know he's maybe understanding a little bit more about but what it takes to play for this football club, Conor Golson has been first class, I think, since he since he joined. And Philippe Landa still building his fitness as well. Gave a good shift on Sunday at St. Martin. Scored in the Betfred League Cup against East Fife. The referee spotted something off the ball here. A Rangers needing someone to just put their foot in the ball and control the tempo and control the emotion side of the game, Andy. They need someone to put the ball in the back yeah. of the net, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's what they, you know, I just, I think, um, I think there are players capable of doing that. Ryan Jack, Steve Davis, Joe Aribo can get their foot in the ball and, and can, you know, give good possession of the ball. But unfortunately, possession of the ball doesn't just equal goals. And I think they need a wee spark. And I think Jordan Jones is the man for that. Or, but they just need, you know, the likes of James Tavernier to... to Push Tell himself further for Arfield, forward. A great take for Arfield. They can't link with Morelos. Morelos drops off to keep possession and it's not out of play again by Levchuk. We've topped up the Rangers centre backs, but I tell you what, Levchuk and Jandrecek at the heart of the Liga defence are more than capable too. Here's Tavernier. Fires it in near post to tape a ball that Touching Arfield hit. might thrive on. Morelos gets his shot away, blocked again by the back track and Cafu. And again, Morelos finding that one corner and the pocket of space to get his shot away. Chance to see it again here, Andy. Yeah, I mean, I think it was Scott Arfield doing enough, getting across the front of the goal. The ball falling to Alfredo Morelos, so I was saying touch and hit, it had to be quick and just didn't quite get enough. Ojo decked by Martins, who was the man with the earlier block on Arfield. Free kick to Rangers. Martins potentially walking a bit of a tightrope as yellow card in the first leg. Start as a youth at Sporting in Lisbon. Ojo's just we change of pace there, the undoing of Martins. I 
think Rangers are a little bit more streetwise second half, Tom. They're, they've realised the kind of referee they're dealing with, and they've taken a couple of tumbles yeah, now. And you know, this, these set pieces are, are invaluable, and it might just be what, what's needed. Barisic is over the ball. Doctor and good to go. The referee signals, wait for the whistle. Barisic to deliver, Golson is in there, Katic's too, Morelos underneath it. It's a clearing header there from Levchuk. Stand. And launched away by Rocket. No pressure on the ball when it's inside Rangers territory. Davis again up for Arfield and he can't keep it. Pressure. Loses well, out to Carfu. Morelos chases the goalkeeper. Katic again. Not just happy to head it, happy to find a blue shirt. Jack releases a rebo. Now he's going in the right direction. They'll backtrack it is Vesovic. Cafu takes over. He's got Lukinja wide. Cutting in and Davis deals with it. Uncharacteristic there of Joe Rebo just didn't have the the eyes in the back of his head yeah. there to realise that there was a man coming up his inside, but it's it's just so delic delicately poised this yes. one. Tom, it's very, very nervy out there. Now Katic wins it cleanly from Vilja. Vilja goes to ground, and Cafu in the follow-up also hits the deck and wins the free kick. There's a change in personnel for Legia. They've called for Jaroslav Nizgoda. He scored two on Sunday in the way win against LKS Lodz. It's striker for striker. Uh, first change of the evening for Legia. Niels Goda off the bench. Jelenovic leaves the field. 24-year-old striker. Hadn't scored since April before getting two on Sunday. And here's Vilja with the set play. Taking a long time to assess what he's wanting to do. Deep delivery and comfortable clutch from Alan McGregor. 1v2 in there as it comes out the night sky and a comfortable back header from Stolarski to his keeper there's a hand, a hand in the air there from Alan McGregor I think he he was looking for Alfredo Morelos I think he looked, looked for a wee bit of cut spin in the ball maybe to try and hold it up but it didn't, he got too good a contact on it and it went the whole way through Arfield chasing shadows Legia making the passes count Here's the first introduction from Nias Goda. He's away from Goldson, stayed in his feet too. They cut back and it's dealt with by Davis at the expense of a corner. Third corner of the evening to Legia. I don't think Rangers have had one. No, I don't think so. It's, uh, you know, I have to say, a brilliant, uh, brilliant turn there from Nias Goda and Steve Davis, Connor Goldson doing enough to get back. And yeah, another, another free kick for, for Rangers to defend. And yeah, you don't want to be playing the game no. in, in, in these areas, Don. Goldson just a wee bit flat footed and fair play to Nias Goda didn't go to ground immediately left Goldson corner here to be taken by Vako Vilja it's a busy area it comes off the top of the head of Ryan Jack fired back into the mix knocked away Davis pressure still on here takes a huge deflection headed away get by up. Connor Goldson right in front of Alan McGregor get out is the call it's now wide for Vilja Tracked by Jack, fires it in, takes an awkward bounce and gathered by Alan McGregor. There's a bit of a follow through there, perhaps, on Alan McGregor. He's an angry man. <laughs> no. He has a word with the referee, and you just get the impression right enough that the referee will take on board what he's been said to him. It's Nias Goda, who's quickly over. I'm not sure there was any contact. And Alan McGregor has it in safe custody. Yeah, we don't like to see it as much Tom but you can certainly influence this referee you know he looks for any sort of a any sort of a dive or a call or a shout for anything and you seem to get it and the Rangers just have to play the game a little bit and I think his hands on there but the referee lets it go the referee trying to let the game flow which is a good thing Jack decisions can be questionable but it's a good thing now Stephen Davis takes over Morelis is central here Scott Arfield he's found James Tavernier back across the face 
turn behind. Rangers get their first corner of the evening. Igor Levchuk cuts out the ball intended for Alfredo Morelos. And perhaps, perhaps, Andy Little, James Tavernier might have gambled with a shot on target. I think that's that's what I was crying out for, Thomas. Brilliant play from Steve Davis. Scott Arfi, lovely interlinking play and releasing James Tavernier. And how often have you seen him put the foot through it there and find the back of the net? Tavernier on the corner. Pops it in. Doesn't beat the first defender. Luquinha looks to keep possession. Tavernier backtracks. Jack has to get something on it. Round the corner, Vilja. There's a race on here, but again, a timely block from Borna Barisic that will come at the cost of a yellow card. But that's one for the team they probably had to take as blood is spotted on the eyebrow of Borna Barisic. May have to leave the field for some treatment. Yeah, I mean, it's a very... <laughs> very sensible one I think um, he's looked very very lively since since coming on the pitches and he's got and I think Rangers need to get the grips of them good and early And but that was a, a smart booking from, from Borna Baric, Baric there yeah, and he has got Baric, on target sorry. twice on Sunday in the 3-2 win against LPS Lutz uh, a team that showed 8 changes from last Thursday for Legia but a huge 3 points for them Here's Roca away from Tavernier, doesn't get away from Arfield though. Now Davis driving out. Morellas tries to find Ojo with one or two that aren't imposing themselves in the game right now. Rangers down to 10 as Barisic waits to get back on after some running repairs to the eye injury. Jack again intervenes. Davis releases Arfield up for Morelos. Ojo's in support. Arfield is central. Here's Ojo delivers early, looking for Arfield. Comes off Arfield's head, not with the trajectory it was after, and gathered by the goalkeeper Majeski. But Arfield busting a gut to get central to give an option for Shea Ojo. He delivered early, and Scott Arfield perhaps just underneath it, Andy. Just the decision making, Tom, in the final third is, hasn't been right tonight for Rangers. A number of opportunities now where they've maybe just picked the wrong pass at the wrong time or, or taking a shot when they shouldn't have and you know these are these are good opportunities that they're creating but I think it, it just requires a wee bit of calmness in that final third a little bit better from Alfredo Morelos there he's been guilty a couple of times second half of just looking to flick it around the corner but took a touch there nice turn and, and away they went Interesting both teams have used 25 players so far in their respective seasons Morelos does so well takes it in Stolarski with the Nibble on him, Stolaski already yellow carded. Morelos goes to ground, free kick Rangers. Morelos has a look to the technical area. He knows Jermaine Defoe will be itching for some game time. Salonier works it back to Nico Katic. His sixth Euro start for the season tonight, Nico Katic. One goal, of course. Yeah, when you look at the two teams, Tom, and the, the stats, the 25 players each, they've had, they're unbeaten in 11 games, Rangers are unbeaten in 11 games, and, and Leggy are unbeaten in nine. There's, there's, there's a number of stats there where, you know, I'm not, surprised, out. I'm not surprised why it's nil-nil and we're 62 minutes into the second tie here. Barisic can't capitalise his clearance for Aribo. Aribo's found Arfield, holds off Cafu, works it wide again for Borna. Barisic fires it in. It's too deep. It's chased by Tavernier, though. Tavernier looks to swirl one in, it comes back off Luis Roca. And just trying to keep the intensity in the game. Quick throw. Tavernier for Jack gets it back, finds Ojo. Tavernier does so well away from Vilja. Referee lets it go, there was no intent. Aribo, Vilja's out the game. It's with Barisic. Barisic works it back to Joe Aribo. He tries to find Arfield, but it's cut off by Cafu. Stepping in again, there is Barisic with a step over. Takes a huge deflection. Rangers will get the corner here. In fact, it doesn't go for the corner, it's the throw-in. good from Borna Barisic supporting the attack from the wide area. And it's John Flanagan, I think that might be the last action for the evening for Borna Barisic. He's certainly given a good shift tonight. Got clattered by his own teammate. He's given us a good 63 minutes. End of the match for Borna Barisic and John Flanagan, his replacement. Yeah, I think you could see he, uh, he definitely took a sore one. I mean, they're... They're doing absolutely the right thing and, and, and being sensible. He's, he's clearly not quite recovered from that head injury. And uh, John Flanagan, Flanagan more, than, more than up to it. And uh, he'll slot in there nicely. He'll certainly give you additional defensive cover. 
in from Tavernier, thumped away again. He might also allow this man, James Tavernier, one, yep. of, one of our our best attacking threats, no doubt about it, creates so many opportunities, it might just allow him a little bit more of a licence, Tom, to go. Is that about Flanagan's discipline, effectively? Yeah, Flanagan's much more defensive-minded, he'll sit in tight with, with uh, Katic and Golson, allow James Tavernier to play a lot higher, as you see, straight away. Katic with the big switch, knocked into the feet of Ojo from Tavernier, Jack in support, Arfield is central, fires it in for Morelos, can't keep it, and Martins gets it away, Vilja, one over the top, there's a race on here, it's Golson with absolute distinction Cushions ahead of his Rangers keep ball I think you can tell that immediately James Tavernier now knows he can go Tom he knows that John Flanagan although he's about Some to go never for a with John Flanagan then <laughs> yeah. he's, uh... he's back with Joe Aribo now Rangers keeping the ball they're trying to move Leggy about trying to speed up the pace of the pass Jack now Arfield is going central Ojo's ahead of him Tavernier is wide now he looks to deliver. It's a real curl on it. Oh, Underneath it is Morelos and headed just off target again. He must have seen that one very late indeed. Levchuk comes across to give him, well, no sight of the travelling ball whatsoever. It's a great delivery, Tavernier. And Morelos just underneath it. It just took a slight nick off. Is it Levchuk's head? I yep. think you'll see there. Just deviated. Does enough to, um, to, to take it away from Alfredo Morelos, unfortunately. in 11 games 15 if you include friendlies this season a bit of wrestling going in there and the referee lets it go Tavernier's trying to inspire his side Flanagan on for Barisic Rebo was on his heels to make a late, a late dash to get involved he gets yep. a late one for his troubles Arfield keeps the ball nonetheless free kick Rangers Katic over the ball just now. Rangers look to reshape, regroup. Time to get at Legia. 66 on the clock. Katic. Great ball. What a delivery. Here's Ojo. He's got a trick or two. Ojo fires it in now. Morelos underneath it. Didn't attack it. Well, a bit of movement in the air deceives Alfredo Morelos. It drifts behind for the goal kick. His Rangers trying to unpick this leggy defence in search of a goal that could just about seal the tie. Ojo again delivering. Where did it go wrong, Andy Little? It was just a slightly more of a flighted ball, I think, Tom. The wind, you, could, you can see the wind actually in the, in the flags above the stadium here. It's, it's pretty strong in, with, with Rangers, and it, it just took it away from Alfredo Morelos there, as we see Jordan Jordy Jones. Jones. Could be the Jones boy. Might be a double change, I think. Colin Stewart, the Rangers goalkeeping coach, is also out there furiously signalling. I think Legia might be also thinking about refreshing the personnel with 23 minutes remaining we did lose around just short of two minutes at the start of the second half with a head injury to Borna Barisic remember this is played to finish tonight at this stage of proceedings Andy could be a long night mm, I was I was starting to think about that Tom and uh and my dinner, no, I'm only joking, not my dinner. <laughs> I, was, I was starting to think about, and you can't help it, Sunday, you know, it's massive, and I think Stephen Jared would really love to see this game finished and, of course, you know, and win this in 90 minutes. Um, it's not easy to go Thursday, Sunday, having played 90 and, and an extra half an hour, if you like. So the, the likes of Jordan Jones coming on, hopefully he's the man to, to spark that. Oh, great movement from Ojo, and he's got it from Tavernier. Martins cuts the cross out at source and Rangers have another corner. Martins backtracking there. Joined in 2018 from Olympiakos. Tavernier on the corners again. Flanagan's minding the shot. Golson and Katic have gone right into the Legia 18-yard box. It's comfortably headed away by 
Jandracek, Flanagan pounces on it, but his ball intended for Tavernier goes straight to Martins. Here's the counter-attack. Jones has to be patient. He's ready for an introduction. Oh, and it breaks down deep inside Rangers' territory. And Rangers go to the other end through Stephen Davis, working through the gears. Slips it wide for Tavernier. James Tavernier cuts it back for Joe Aribo. What's on here? Here's Ojo. Shooting chance! Fisted away by the goalkeeper. Only as far as Morelos. Majewski stretching, pushing away the Ojo effort. Here's Scott Arfield. Clips it in now. Ar Aribo underneath it. Ojo chases. Knocked away by Levchuk. The game exploding into life. Rangers defending momentarily. Now they're on the counter-attack. They're looking to put this one into the net. It's into the mix again, Tavernier. Morelos back stick. Can he get a touch and he gets shot away? Alfredo Morelos. A chance! Oh! Agonisingly inches wide of the target. And Connor Golson couldn't get anything on it. If Rangers at the moment laying siege to Radislav Majewski's goal in search of a goal, they would see them in the hat tomorrow in Monaco for the group stages of the Europa League. Take a breath, Tom. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> And there's a booking in all of that. There was a booking for, for James Tavernier there, Tom, just at the end. But brilliant for Rangers. So agonisingly close there from Alfredo Morelos. Takes a little nick off the defender and just past the far the far post, as you can see now. James Tavernier over the, over the corner kick. Tavernier booked in that passage of play. Joining Borna Barisic, who's since left the field, and Stalarski. So three of the four fullbacks booked tonight. Jordan Jones waiting to come on. Likewise, Dominic Nye. And Ibrox breaks into song. Tavernier with the corner. Popped back in off the head of Alfredo Morelos. Arfield turns it back in there and Legia get it away eventually. Flanagan. Jack Tavernier inspirational long deep ball in search of Morelos takes it early Ooh. pitches awkwardly and gathered again by Radislav Majewski really difficult skill in that win but Alfredo Morelos making a half decent effort there a snapshot after the deep ball we're seeing more of Morelos peeling off to play almost in the shoulder of the full back rather than the centre back I think the, the two centre halves, as you touched on, have been really, really physical with them all game, and he hasn't had much joy taking the ball in defeat. So maybe he's thinking, peeling off the back he's in the areas like this here. On this one, as the keeper again comes, Majewski majestically sweeps it away. He looks at Talat, the young Polish keeper, just 19 years of age. Jordan Jones finally getting the chance to come onto the pitch now, and what an atmosphere that was for him to stand and wait. The uh, thing is, I don't think anyone particularly wants to leave the field. <laughs> yeah. Arfield, end of the match. That's quite a change to the dynamic, Andy Little. Yes, it will be. Um, sorry, I was just admiring the fact that Scott Arfield came off the other side of the pitch and never understood. <laughs> they've changed that rule now, of and he's, he's walking around the back of the goals here and getting a great, a great reception from the Rangers fans. He'll um, probably take a seat there in the Copeland <laughs> and join in the singing. <laughs> Careful. All legal, of course. Yeah, no, I think he's the man, Tom. I do, I really do. If he gets the space and gets the opportunities to to go at a, a leggy back four who must be fairly tired. They've had a bit of an onslaught recently. Jack pouncing on the loose ball. Tavernier introduces Ojo. He's immediately on the offensive again. Hangs it up towards the back post. Jones will keep it in play. Morelos lays off. Also in attendance is Stephen Davis. Here's Morelos, still in the box. Back for Stephen Davis. Here's Get Jones on. now. Trying to stand up the fullback. Gets a wee bit break. Now he fires it in. Chasing it late oh. as Ojo. And it just evades both Tavernier and Ojo at that back post. Drifts out of play. But Rangers at the moment have the scent of a wind in their nostrils. They, they certainly have the wind, the actual wind at their... At their backs as yep, well. Yep. They are. Um, they do have the wind, and they are on top, Tom. And we've, we've that was a wind in their nostrils and the wind in their sails. <laughs> we have, you know, it's it's still been the the story of this match, though. We see a bit of colour from the Legia fans. Yeah, they've got the flares going. I think that's all about trying to inspire their team, who have been a bit flat 
in the last 10 minutes or so. Oh, great feet from Ojo, holds off not one but two challenges, tries to find Davis but really has other ideas. Gathered now by Veskovic. Good from Jordan Jones, good impact already, a nice ball into the box there and he's certainly getting involved. Wilson. It breaks kindly here, picked up again in there. Rangers still have some defending to do. Cafu works it wide, well read by John Flanagan. Taking out the play, free kick to Rangers. And the Rangers fans react to the flares as the smoke encircles Ibrox. The game continues. Wonderful run, Jordan Jones. Still Jordan Jones. Can he find Ojo? It takes a huge deflection. And the support is Tavernier. He does hit it eventually. Charles down though by the backtracking routine here. Tell you what, it has created some atmosphere, Tom. Here's Stephen Davis. Thick smoke across the pitch. It's like when you're sitting at traffic lights and someone's got a vape in their car and you see this huge puff of smoke. This is absurd. It's bizarre game continues, Jack gets out of Tavernier, Tavernier fires it in, it's a decent delivery, knocked away yet again by Levchuk, Jack again sees early. it so early, variation in delivery from Tavernier again, it's cleared only as far as Ryan Jack, Jack wants to give and go with Tavernier, has he got enough room to deliver, looks to combine with Joe Aribo but it's cleared again, that's Niko Katic, believe me, I think the referee has just called the hole. Yeah. By the way, Andy, if the flares ignited when they were by the Liga Ultras, when their team are under the cosh, mm. it's been an effective way to slow the game down. Yeah. Yeah, there's an argument for that. It's Rangers are definitely on top, you know, and disappointing. We'll just have to sit and wait, you can't see much you can see the, on, the, on, the, on the cameras here you really can't see anything, we can see a little bit more than that but the Rangers, Rangers players are in, getting a good talking to from, from Stephen Gerrard speaking to Conor Goulson and both teams are taking on refreshment, and I'll tell you what the smoke from these players catches your throat, <laughs> even our position here on the gantry yeah, it's, the one thing it's done though is ignited the, the Rangers fans I have to say they're in in full voice, it's, it's a, it's, I'm not, you don't approve of this, but the atmosphere is absolutely brilliant, Tom. And if, if only some one of these players just needs to go and make themselves a hero, and you know, go, go, go and see this off now in the last 13, 15 minutes. Both teams taking on some refreshment. Both teams getting instruction from the relative technical benches. It's mad, it's mad to think of it, but I still think calmness is the word, Tom. Rangers just need to be calm in that final third, pick the right pass. One thing, though, as well, there's been an awful lot of good good deliveries from James Tavernier on the right-hand side there. Not not one Rangers player is get, getting across that front post and making it difficult for for the uh, leggy centre half to, to, to defend. Well, I don't know how cold it might be in Warsaw, but in Glasgow, top half. We're underway again. Thanks for joining us for an absolutely captivating evening on Rangers TV. But no goals to report. 90 minutes last week, 78 minutes this week. Can't separate the sides. The other change for Legia was the introduction of Nadge for Stolarski. Up for Morelos. Picked up Cafu, squeezed away Davis. Good decision again back there from Nico Katic. No. You know, especially with the smoke, you have to be sensible. He, you know, he played the percentages and, and went for the longer ball. The other point, when we haven't seen the introduction yet of Jermaine Defoe, is there potential that both camps have to think about an extra half hour, Andy? Yeah, I think so, but I also think if you need someone to come on and get you a goal, in that six-yard box, that 18-yard box, there's been a lot of really good opportunities 
and one man who knows how to put the ball in the back of the net is, is Jermaine Defoe I wouldn't be surprised if if we do see him on before the 90 minutes even you know 10 minutes would be, be more than enough for that man Andy Little bringing great insight to the Rangers TV coverage this evening Tavernier climbs so well flicks on the header gathered by Ojo support as ever from Ryan Jack he just runs into traffic loses out to Rocca Rangers are looking for some inspiration on this day in 1964 the legend that is Willie Bud Johnston made his Rangers debut in a 3-1 win against St Johnston Bud Johnston the hero in Barcelona 72 with two goals to lift the European Cup in his cup and of course one from his sidekick Colin Steen Bud Johnston always a pleasure to be in his company meeting his Rangers debut this day in 1964 Here's Jones. Oh. What a header that was from Flanagan, actually. Jones loses out to I'm Nadge. I'm impressed more he was able to see it than yeah. better it. And the free kick goes against Katic. And maybe cautioned for it as well. Yellow card for Nico Katic. I think you're spot on, Tom. The, the flares have, have brought a bit of carnage to the game. Rangers were really on top, totally dominating the ball. Lots of opportunities, and Nagy really looked like they were struggling to keep up, and that wee break has just given them the opportunity to settle back down again. Absolutely. And the referee is a quick head count. Meanwhile, Jermaine Defoe and Greg Stewart go through the warm-up routine. Ryan Jack again sees it early, crashes it off. Vilja gets a touch that finds Davis as well. Jack up close and personal. Down again goes Martins and the free kick goes in favour of Legia. They're trying to do a number on us here, Andy. I think that was a wee silly one from Ryan Jack. I have to say, it was, you know, he didn't need to go and make that challenge, especially in this area, dangerous area. And we don't need to give Leggy any opportunities to both slow the game down and create themselves an opportunity. Remember Sunday, the Old Firm game, high noon kickoff, Sunday the 1st of September. And as ever, Rangers TV will be there. Here's Vilja with the free kick. Flights it in, Katic with the clearing header. Returned again by Nadge, chased by Cafu. Holds off Ojo. Stand. Julia Blages gets it back to Lukin here. It's Morellas coming back, getting involved, and it's a reboot who had Julia covered. Perhaps slightly late. Free kick again to Legia. Nine minutes, but there, by my count at the moment, with a two minute injury to Borna Barisic inside the first five minutes of the second half and a two-minute stoppage to let Smokey Joe clear. There's going to be some added on time, that's for sure, Andy. There will be, and but this is this really does play into Leggy's hands. You know, Rangers need to be streetwise. They're a little bit better in the second half at winning their fair share of the free kicks, but at this crucial time, you can't be giving away set pieces in this area. Here's Vilja. He's the man who makes Leggy a tick. Gets it in. Flicked on, and Alan McGregor has to deal with it. You know, well, it's just helped towards the goal area there by Nias Goddard. And Alan McGregor watching it all the way, takes no chances. Nias Goddard just helps it into the mix. Katic does well to get in front of Alan McGregor, and McGregor just turns it behind. Very intelligent from, yeah, intelligent from Katic there. You really can see mature. exactly what he was doing. He really made life a lot easier for, for Alan McGregor, although it wasn't easy at all, and he, and he dealt with it really, really well. But, you know... Here we go, Tom. You know, it's yeah. three or four minutes now we spent just, just watching two two free kicks in the corner and Rangers need to be more aware of that and, 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 and start playing the game back up again. Tonight's attendance, 45,463. We know why we're slightly down in numbers, but the Rangers fans inside the stadium tonight impeccably behaved and I wonder if the UEFA delegates maybe just thinking about the intervention of the players from the Polish fans as in comes the corner headed away by Flanagan first he shows Martins fancies it gets some dip on it it's over the top nonetheless and undoubtedly the wee bit breathing space that Legia got when the game was stopped has come to their aid yeah but I think it has to be a lesson for Rangers you know they've they've, they've you know they're the, the architects of their own problems there two silly silly free kicks and, and obviously the corner there at the end but we need to be, you know, back on top again as they were before the before the incident, and 
It's just all a wee bit loose and a bit erratic. There's a high boot there, the referee spots that one. Looking here, the Brazilian catching James Tavernier. Bit of a mix-up between Joe Aribo and Ryan Jack. Well, we talked about the nervy nature of this match. No yellow card for Luquinha and those tense incidents and situation continues to get cranked up. Long from Goldson, wonderful touch from Tavernier. Ojo takes over now. Tavernier drops off and gets it back from Shea Ojo. Ojo again, now he fires it in early, looking for Morelos. At the back post is Jones, trying to keep it alive. Bit of a push in there is the suggestion as Morelos gets up close on Jandrejcik. Rangers have certainly had lots of variation tonight, Andy Little, but the Polish defence are well-drilled, well-schooled and organised in the extreme. Yeah, I, I, you know, my thoughts going into the game certainly were that it might have been more of the same more of the same of what we what we had last week and, and that's how it's how it's turned out it might just be the one goal if we see one um, that wins this and Rangers just need to a, bit, a wee bit more clinical final third you know composure calmness over those chances that they get because they've created certainly created a lot more chances tonight than, than Legia have free um, kick goes against Joe Aribo You just need one genuine golden opportunity that could see Rangers in the group stages. A yard or two being stole down the line by Nadge. Still problems for Rangers. Shooting chance. Well, again, he's quick to get across and support the substitute. Jaroslav Nias got up, not for the first time tonight, showing all his strength as he tries to find a goal here for Legia. He's very determined, gets away from Tavernier. The ultimate shot will be disappointing for go him, on, though. Go on. As Rangers go to the other end, the long searching ball will see Shea Ojo. Ojo Get looks him. to stand up the full back rocker, fires in a tired looking delivery. Squeezed away by Jandrecek only as far as Tavernier. Tavernier it's deflected. Oh, and the goalkeeper Order. stretching ensuring he doesn't get troubled under his crossbar. The ball just drifts onto the roof of the net, and Rangers have the corner, Andy. That's it, Tom. Getting to the byline, that's what I've, you know been calling for and too many of, of Rangers deliveries have been coming from deeper areas which are a lot easier to defend Tavernier again on the corners Rangers fourth of the second half Katic wants a deep delivery Morelos is coming short there's the header oh. Katic well he did well to lose his marker he got a good clean header on it just couldn't get it on target and it's in with the fans housed behind the goal protected by Radislav Majewski good delivery Tavernier Determination, Katic just couldn't hit the target. Yeah, excellent delivery from James Tavernier off the, the set piece. Nico Karic doing absolutely everything he can, but not an easy one. Not an easy one to get over the, the top of that and keep it down. Rain continues to come down over Ibrox. Ojo, can't link with Aribo. Picked off by Carlos Cafu. Launched in behind Rangers rear guard again. Katic will just screen it. Does well to let it go behind. Outstanding performance tonight from Nico Katic, Andy. Yeah, he's been he has been outstanding. Uh, both he and uh, both he and Connor Connor Golson have been looked really assured so far anyway, and it's it's some battle out there, Tom. I don't think I've seen a game so intense, and you know, there's individual battles going on all over the pitch. Really, really physical, both sides. You know, there's been mistakes, there's been little loose passes, but I think that's because of the level of energy from from teams out of possession. You know, they're not making it easy for each other, and, and as a result, you're seeing some mistakes and bits of loose play here and there. Flanagan gets it up to Morelos, does well to keep possession. Jordan Jones takes over, tries to. Work through the gears, Jones driving into the box and has his pocket picked ultimately by the substitute. Dominic Nagy, the Hungarian, wonderful vision from Stephen Davis. He gets Rangers going again, here's Shea Ojo, can they get his shot away? And again, the goalkeeper takes a good step to his right before gathering it. But the explosive effort from Shea Ojo 
testing the goalkeeper Majeski. It all starts with Stephen Davis's awareness. Ojo gets everything behind it. Fine save from Majeski. Yeah, brilliant pressing in midfield from Steve Davis, creating the opportunity. Ojo cutting in onto his left side and lovely strike, but a little bit too far out maybe in, in order to test the goalkeeper. Well, it's time for heroes or villains. Ryan Jack up for Morelos. There is no flag, or rather there is now. You won't miss a kick of the ball should this go to an additional 30 minutes. We've now played 180 minutes between the famous Glasgow Rangers and Lydia Warsaw. And we can't separate the sides. There's a chance here for Nisgoda. Nisgoda can't get out his feet. Goldson tracks him. Nisgoda again hits the target. Alan McGregor again pulls the rabbit out of the hat as Legia try and hit in the counter attack. Chance to see it again here. Nisgoda is cool, he's calm, he's collective. And he gets it on target. But Alan McGregor has looked so assured from everything he's done this evening, Andy Little. Yeah, he has. I mean, that, again, is bread and butter for, for a goalkeeper like him, but it just shows you how easy it is. Just one long, hopeful ball bounces kindly and, and Leggy have a good opportunity. Over the top. What a take from Joe Aribo. Can he find a finish? Here's Morelos. Comes cannoning back of Jandrecek. Pressure still Get on. Past it. Get past. Ojo. Ojo with a step over. Now he clips it in. No takers. Headed away by Naji. Aribo tries to drag it down. It's thumped away by Andre Martins. Rangers finishing strongly. Excellent carriage again. Six additional minutes to be played. Jones delivers. Morelos! Yes! Get in there! 90 minutes on the clock. It's Rangers 1. Bring it down! <laughs> Welcome to the Parthens! <laughs> Um, Scott Arfield has run the length of the sideline there to get with the get with the team. Glenn Kamara's followed him. Stephen Gerrard's followed him, saying, "Get up here, you're coming on." <laughs> Alfredo Morelos Jones with the delivery, and this time he plants his header deep into the net. Oh, Alfredo Morelos! It's Rangers one, Legia Warsaw nil. What a time to score, Andy Little. Absolutely awesome, Tom, but I can't help but just watch the bench here. It's Stephen Gerrard, Gary McAllister trying to, trying to get the boys back in, trying to get them to settle in, but sorry, back to the goal. Back to the goal. Alfredo Morelos, we knew he had a great opportunity in the first half that he, that he, that he uncharacteristically missed, and he's never going to miss the second chance comes his way. Big, big occasion, big man. It's his eighth European goal in the campaign Glenn Kamara coming on now Tom as I said they were in the carnage of the celebrate and he was dragged back up and told to get ready they have to make the sub may well be introduced two minutes under a belt of the added on six now Roca trying to get away from Jack digs out the delivery thumped away by Golson get there, get there. only as far as Martins Morelos gets goal side brilliant free kick wins the free kick terrific from Alfredo Morelos <laughs> the Buffalo has charged Legia Warsaw oh uh oh some extras here it's got a bit nasty Jordan Jones is in the middle of it Legia in danger of losing the plot the referee gets involved it was Vesovic blocking Jones Caffrey wants a piece of the action right in the middle of two is Nico Katic who gets Alfredo Morelos away from the scene of the crime. And the Rangers fans, <laughs> what a terrific evening. A hard, hard shift. Resilience and tenacity paying off as the referee has to take some control here. James Tavernier is the skipper, offering some legals for Jordan Jones. And the referee takes the sting out of proceedings with a double yellow card. It's Igor Levchuk cautioned for Legia. And Jordan Jones picking up a booking for Rangers. But we waste another 30 valuable seconds. Andy Little. 
don't know what to say. The stadium is absolutely buzzing, Tom. Just <laughs> delighted to be here and be a part of it, and hopefully they can see this out. They need to get the heads on, need to... A couple of the experienced players pull, their, pull the players back in. Looks like Jordan Jones is going to push slightly further forward when, when Glenn Kamara finally gets a chance to get Hands onto on the pitch. Morelos, no infringement. We Davis do... pops it back to where it came from. Morelos goes to ground, oh, put by Rocker. Nicely. Rocker not happy that Morelos has gone to ground. The referee over. Free kick to Rangers. Thinking back to that goal, it's a stunning header from Alfredo Morelos. But the Jones boy from your part of the world of Northern Ireland, what a delivery! I didn't even know he delivered it, Tom. I was <laughs> carried away. Ibrox uh, is bouncing. We'll finally see now Glenn Kamara getting the opportunity to get on the pitch. He's uh, waited long enough, and Shea Ojo's coming off, I think. Ojo off. Kamara on. Take your time. They're holding up the subway because no one's leaving. <laughs> 95 minutes on the clock, Rangers 1, Lydia Warsaw 0, that's 499 European goals in competitive action for this famous football club. Nothing silly here Tom, just keep just the keep ball up the here. Ah. Back in, back in, regroup. Respect for Lydia, they're a tough nut to crack, but Rangers just kept at them Andy. Just keep going, just keep going, that's all. Here we go, George Jones. Jones. gives chase. Back Man in. of the match for Rangers TV, Andy, any contenders? I can't even I'll think I'll give right you time to think about it. can't even think. <laughs> we'll do it in the post-match analysis. 30 seconds remaining of the added on six minutes. Big win, someone big win, big win. Katic, we got away with that one, can I suggest? Davis kicks for touch. Andrzejczyk works it back to Majewski. Go on. Here we go, go again, it's coming straight down your throat. Go on. Nadji. Big win. Katic. Brilliant. Morelos, clever. Gets in front of his man, wins the free kick. Awesome from Nico Katic. There's my man of the match, Tom. Nico Katic. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not Alfredo Morelos, although hard, hard not to give it to him after the goal, but Nico Katic for me has been absolutely outstanding and he's just showed it in those two pieces of play which are just as important yeah. as as, the, as that man putting the ball in the back of the neck Nico Katic, two long balls up goes there and wins both of them Alfredo Morelos, the poster boy the boy with the golden goal Nico Katic, the rock solid defender man of the match what a thrilling 96 minutes ah. Well, the sponsors tonight agree with Andy Little. Nico Katic gets the nod. We're deep beyond the 96. Katic again Excellent wins again. his header. Yes! The final whistle blows the Ibrooks. Rangers will play Europa League football with the draw on Monday in Monaco. Bring on anyone here at Ibrox, Andy. That is the message. Unbelievable, Tom. I tell you, it, it it took so long for that for that chance, that final, that chance came. But you can see the delight in Stephen Jarrett's face. Absolutely delighted for every single one of them.